Good morning. It's Friday. Uh, we are headed to Enid via Tulsa. We're going to stop at the gathering place today and meet up with some friends. Um, we've got the new to us pickup um, all loaded up and uh, we've got to make one more stop before we leave town. We just realized that the tag on the trailer's expired. Um, so we're going to stop at the tag office on the way and, uh, and then we'll head to Tulsa. quick update the girls I just dropped them off at the gathering place they're gonna go have a lot of fun but we forgot the scooter key uh, which we really need for motorcycle school tomorrow so Madison can ride her scooter I got a hold of my mom and she's coming to the rescue she's gonna bring me the key and then I'm gonna come back here uh, meet with the girls so always an adventure Okay, Sissy. Oh, watch your head. Okay. You go first and then I'll go next. Okay. Sissy, this is fun. Okay, go. See, you come with me. Okay, you go first.
Good job, sister. Good job. You're so high. <laughs> everybody we just got back to my mom's house from the gathering place we had a really good time with my friend Jackie and her kids and I have known Jackie since we were babies we went to preschool together and graduated high school together so we've known each other quite a while and we are Hello, on our way to Enid now so hopefully we get there before it gets too dark we'll see you guys in a little while bye here we are in the new to us pickup. We were on the highway and I noticed our check engine light came on. Could be bad news, could be just indifferent. We're gonna read the code. I've got this code reader. It's gonna tell us what our problem is. If you guys don't have a code reader, I would recommend getting one. They're not that expensive. I think this one was about $40. Every car built after 1996 has has a plug if I can get get mine lined up they're all the same OBD2 you just plug it into your port and it comes on and tells you to turn the key on so we turn the key back on and press any key it starts reading the codes it found one code so we're gonna see what the code is engine oil pressure sensor switch a range performance it sees a problem with the engine oil pressure sensor. I'm not sure how bad a news that is yet. We're going to go back and see if the code is still active. It may have just uh, <laughs> gone bad for a second, sent the code, and then gone back to normal. If it's gone back to normal, we should be able to erase the code. So we'll try to erase it, and it erased it. We're going to exit the test. Turn the key back off. Unplug the machine. Start the truck back up. And the check engine light is gone. The problem may come back and it may take some further investigation, but it's all back to normal now. I just fixed my check engine light for free in a McDonald's parking lot with just a, a $40 piece of equipment that I'll have for years and years. That was some excitement for a little bit on the trip because uh, you know, you never want to see your check engine light come on because when it comes on, who knows? Who knows what it could be and how bad, how bad it could be. But it turns out, at the moment, uh, everything is back to normal. We are going to get back on the road and finish our trip and get to Enid and get set up in the trailer park. Um, we're all hungry. All the girls are kind of stern in the back seat, but they've been sleeping. So we'll check back in later. Mm -hmm.